idea about kings and queens, the monarchy of Great Britain. And of course, um, England before it came became Great Britain. I might cover the uh, kings and queens Scotland and Wales after I've done all of the English and British monarchy. But today, video number four is the fourth official king of all England. quite a lot when doing this. It's Edwig or Edwi, sometimes called Edwi. He was He was, uh, you know, he never cheated at cards or anything like that. <laughs> it was because he was uh, very attractive, apparently. He was a young guy. He was very attractive. He was the son of Edmund the First. Edmund the Magnificent, but the previous king had been Edred, Edward I's brother, because Edwig was too young to take the throne, he was only five years old, but um, when Edred died without any children, Edwig took the throne at um, the age of uh, 14 or 15, 14 I think. That was in 955. The thing that um, Edwig is most famous for is for marrying his stepsister. He uh, disappeared off and was um, frolicking, uh, fully clothed, I think. <laughs> but he was frolicking about with um, his stepmother and his stepmother's daughter. And um, the abbot of Glastonbury, Dunstan was sent to look for him. He was sent off to search for him along with another uh, bishop. When he found him, he sort of uh, slapped him around the face a couple of times and sent him back to his uh, coronation. Uh, did I mention that it was his coronation? He, he had just been coronated, basically. The crown had just been put on his head and then he went off with these two women. Um, now, that annoyed the older of those two women, Edwig's stepmother. She was so angry at Dunstan's behaviour that she got uh, Edwig to banish him. So he was sent off into exile. 
he only came back uh, under the reign of the next king. Anyway, uh, Edwig married his stepsister, and her name was, I have to write this in the, uh, the old Saxon style, That's how you did the A's back then. Uh, it's uh, Elf Gifu. Elf Gifu. Um, that caused a lot of um, problems, a lot of consternation. That is well uh, well remembered to this day. We don't know 100% if it actually happened, of course. We know he married his stepsister, but we don't know about all the controversy um, on the day of his coronation. That was written by Dunstan 40 years later, so we, we're not 100% certain. Now, in 957, because Edwig was a bit of a playboy, he was a teenager, he was a good-looking teenager, and he, he didn't want any... He didn't listen to any of his old advisors. He just wanted his mates uh, to uh, to be in positions of power, and uh, that, of course, infuriated um, the nobles. And so there was a near civil war. Uh, but in the end, they got around that by giving, by letting, um, by letting Edwig rule the south. Of England and his brother, his younger brother Edgar, ruled the north. And because of that, there was a there was a bit of peace. However, the nobles and the clergy were still very angry at. Um, sister or stepsister I should say did I say half sister earlier I don't know I meant stepsister so in 959 elf Gifu let's write it again just for a laugh recorded as being under suspicious circumstances <laughs> so um, she was probably taken out and shortly after that um, Edwig had died suspiciously as well um, again we don't know the details uh, he was only uh, what, about 18 time. So he reigned from about the age of 14 to 18. Uh, the country as a whole was more in support of his younger brother Edgar anyway. So the instant that um, uh, Edwig or Edwin uh, died, the south of England immediately declared allegiance to Edgar. So Edgar, the younger brother of Edwig, became king. And of course I will cover him in uh, the next video. He was a much more successful king than Edwig. Uh, reigned for longer for being um, a much better ruler but in his defense Edwig was just a you know he was just a kid basically and he was a bit of a pretty boy and uh, you know he, he just wanted to have fun and mess about and you know, difficult position to be put in anyway there we are that's the very 
short history of uh, of um, Edwig the Fair or Edwy the Fair, the fourth king of all England. Um, thank you for watching and listening. Please join me next time. Uh, subscribe if you wish to. I'd be very grateful. Thank you. Bye-bye.